Hello students, welcome to the video lecture series. I am Ishan Trivedi, Assistant Professor, Civil Engineering Department. Welcome you in this session. In this session, I am going to cover objectives and goals of transportation planning, whereas few terminologies. So let us start with the terminologies first. First is values. Values are irreducible quantities which forms the basic desire and drives the governing human behavior. These values are abstractions which are not measurable. For example, desire to survive and preserve the traditions and culture, the needs for order, security, freedom and justice. These things are of values. You cannot measure these values in terms of any amount. Next is goals. Goals are idealized as end state of the things. This would be the total environment towards planners strive while planning an urban system. For example, green city. Here, these goals are set in a such a way that you will achieve that goals whether it can be a short term or long term manner. For example, to provide equal opportunities to all the members in a society for travel regardless of income, age or health condition. Here, the goal reflects the social values as equality and social justice. It is to improve the urban environment. So, for example, here I want to build a city concerning a green environment or green urban space. So, this is our set goal. Next is objectives. Objectives are specific statements which arise from one or more goals and are truly attainable. It is of or you can say it, it conceives lower order of goal in form of statements. An objective is stated in a such a way that the degree of its achievement can be expressed through the use of criteria. For example, if I set a goal to provide a sustainable or green urban space and for that to provide accessibility to all those people who are residing in that particular area. So to achieve that green urban space, the first objective is to provide accessibility for goods and services to people. So these are the objectives to achieve the goal of green urban space or sustainable development. Furthermore, the objectives can be developed to ensure that all the residents of metropolitan area experience air pollution level within the acceptable limits. To minimize the social disruption resulting from the construction of new transportation facilities. So you have to set a goal and based on that objectives will be conceived at lower order. Next is criteria. Criteria are specific tests or measurement which reflect the degree of attainment of a particular objective. It specifies a range of values within which the performance of the system lie for the objectives to be met. For example, for the basic objective of air pollution that I have taken in the objective, the criteria may be the maximum annual concentration of certain gases in the air. This will be set in criteria that maximum limit of O2, maximum limit of CO2, maximum limit of PM2, PM10. So this is how I will set a criteria for each air pollutant which are contributing towards the urban environment. So I will set a criteria in terms of maximum and the minimum limit. Now next is standards. 
standards specify the method of measurement to determine the conformity to the criteria prescribed. For example, at least 80% of the elderly and handicapped people must have then access to social services. Here the value itself, that value 85% set as a standard. Another example is people who live in the metropolitan city area per capita water consumption is 135 liter per capita per day. Here 135 is the standard set for the consumption of water in metropolitan city area. So this is how you can set standards for the methods of measurement. Next is mobility. It is one of the important term used in the transportation planning. Mobility is defined as an access to transportation. Means if I step forward outside my house, how many means of access to transportation? So this indicates the mobility. It indicates the movement. It is important in travel demand models to determine the choices available to a consumer. Whether I can opt my own vehicle, public transport, intermediate public transport. In public transport, even I can classify the local, rapid transit or mass transit. So how much the variant available in terms of quality of services, fare and many more factors which are affecting towards the mobility. According to the National Urban Development Policy and in 11th five year plan 2007 to 12, the cities are encouraged to prepare mobility plans, which are basic documents to access the central funds. In case of Ahmedabad also, you will find city mobility plan. This mobility plan usually cover regional, sub-regional and local areas. Next is accessibility. Accessibility is also one of the important term in the measure in urban transportation plan. Accessibility is defined as an access to activities. It deals with the movement of people and goods that emphasize the outcomes and the performance of the transportation system. In many cases, the objective of transportation infrastructure investment is to improve the accessibility of a given region by reducing the travel time or increasing in the potential to travel. The accessibility can be measured as the quantity of economic or social activities that can be reached using the transport system or any other means of access. The improvement in the accessibility will increase the market size for manufacturing, tourism and or labor. Last is efficiency. It is the relationship between direct and indirect cost of transportation and productivity of the system is referred as an efficiency. Here two type of cost are involved. First is direct cost and the second is indirect cost. Direct costs are composed of capital and operating costs. And indirect cost reflects the adverse environmental effect and unquantifiable cost such as noise pollution, safety measures and so on. These indirect costs will be measured in terms of benefit to cost ratio in terms of social economic rate of return. So this is how you can measure the efficiency of transportation planning. Whether any project is been implemented is going to be welfare to the society as well as towards sustainable transportation. So these are some of the important terms. In particularly, I emphasize more on accessibility and mobility. Next theory is objectives and goals of transportation planning. Transportation planning is a systematic technique of undertaking the traffic and transportation characteristics with goals of producing safe, 
efficient and convenient system which will meet current and future needs and performance of the community in town planning process the goals serve as a guide for the systematic planning and these are of long term plan or you can say long term strategic planning and they also lead to the development of the objectives which indicate the type of project needed furthermore the objectives are associated with the project planning which you call short term action plan and these relate to the development of criteria for evaluating the alternate plans at the project level so let us study the goals which are concerned towards transportation planning and their set objectives first is to provide maximum personal mobility to cater this goal we have to set certain objectives these objectives covers the affordability facilities for pedestrian and the level of surface so to provide safe reliable and affordable public transportation to all the citizens particularly for the urban poorers the aged fellows and the children we have to provide this set of public transportation next is to improve the facility to pedestrian and the cyclist and at last to improve the level of service of urban travel next goal is to improve the urban environment this will be achieved by to reduce the air pollution and noise pollution by reducing the vehicle and the traffic as well to enhance the aesthetic qualities of the urban environment to minimize the disruption to community and the problems of rehabilitation due to new projects so we have to focus more on the public orientation and their life as well next is to improve the economic efficiency of transportation for this set of goal we have the objectives these are to increase the capacity of existing facilities for persons and the goods movement to reduce the personal cost for the urban travel to reduce the cost of urban goods and movement and at last to reduce the public cost of urban transportation system here to achieve this economic efficiency in transportation the emphasis made on not only in the personal aspect but in the goods and the services and their movements is also been covered in this segment next is to improve the traffic safety so for that the objectives are to reduce the traffic accidents to reduce the injuries and deaths due to traffic accidents and at last to improve the personal safety of road users next goal is to conserve the energy resources for that the objectives which set to reduce the fuel consumption for the urban travel to reduce the electricity consumption in the urban transportation so ultimately we design a society by considering various aspect which conceives various goals these goals are of long term strategic goals and on that goals we set the objectives which are short term planning oriented objectives here i am ending this session i hope you have learned the objectives and goals of transportation plan thanks for watching this video